Hey, it's Chris again. Hey, this is Ollie again. Hey, Ollie. Hey, Chris. Where you are right now in the game represents by far the biggest change to sort of environmental ambience uh, that we did in the whole game in terms of visuals and uh, audio and everything else. It was a, just a totally different um, outdoor kind of vibe. Yeah, it was really important that the end of the game felt uh, very sort of climactic and exciting and for the style of this, we actually looked at uh, first-person views of like real forest fighting that had been recorded in Australia, and it was so intense. And the thought of like trying to yeah. hit that, uh, well, like the benchmark had been set, right? So we had to try and get something that captured that feeling. And I think we were all surprised by how close it got in the end. Yeah, for sure. It was. It was. I was really impressed. Yeah, it, it was. It was amazing how close we got to the original vision, given without special casing any tools. Like the tools that we we had enabled us to get this effect like very quickly, and it was something I'd been putting off for a long time because I was really scared <laughs> of being able yeah. to deliver something that felt, you know, exciting. And uh, and then I remember I was bringing everyone into the room and going, hey, guys, I think I think we got it. Yeah, <laughs> I that's think we awesome. Did it. Yeah. On the audio system, I did have to special case a bunch of stuff, but mm. what ended up happening was because of the needs of this day, I ended up redoing the way audio ambience worked for the whole game to be able to support dropping elements in and out, which ended up being really useful <laughs> retroactively for the <laughs> earlier days when I went back and changed those. So, yeah. Great.